So, whose gown will you be wearing on the red carpet tonight? <laughs> whose gown? Well, who do you think, Empress Isabella's? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? You call yourself a journalist. Yes, I am a journalist. Well, if you're a journalist, then ask some real questions. Real questions? Yes, real questions. You want real? You want real questions? I want real questions. All right. All right. I will ask you some real questions. <laughs> real questions. of the Reformation thus far? Oh, that's easy. Teaching. Teaching. Yes, teaching. Teaching people about the freedom that comes from the gospel of Jesus Christ. Teaching people about the grace of God. Teaching people to, to study the scriptures in their own language. Teaching people that because we are free by Jesus Christ, we are now free to serve. Wait, I missed that last thing. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because we are free, in Jesus Christ, we are freed to serve freely. <laughs> right. Yes. We. We. Oh. We are, are free to serve freely. So, what would you say were the greatest uh, challenges to the Reformation thus far? Greedy. The greedy of the church. Greedy for power and money and souls. All right, well then. What are the greatest challenges of the Reformation from this point forward? Greed. <laughs> greed, it's still greed. greed. Yes, my husband preached the other day that greed is the great spiritual problem of our day. Oh. Yes, you see, now that people understand that they are free, that they've been freed in Jesus Christ, well, once they know that they can't buy their way into a right relationship with God, they don't have to pay for indulgences, and they can't do good works to earn their way, they get greedy. They tighten their purse strings, and they try to make money hand over fist and keep it for themselves. And yes, they're greedy. Let me show you. Excuse me, do I have your wallet? No. Came to my husband 
and said we should take the grains that we had set aside for, to feed the poor and we should sell them for a big profit for the sake of the city. Well, that sounds like corruption. Yeah, follow the money. Isn't, yeah, isn't that what you investigative journalists say? Follow the money if you're after a story. Yes. Wow. Wow. All right. One more question. All right. Last question. What are your hopes for the reformation? My hopes. For the next 15 years. My hopes, well, my hopes are not for the Reformation. My hopes are for the gospel of Jesus Christ. That more and more people will come to, to understand the strength and the freedom and the grace that they have through Jesus Christ. You know, there is one truth that my husband came to realize over these past 15 years. And it is this. That people, they want a pope. Yeah, pope. Not the pope in Rome, but they want someone to tell them the answers. Well, sort of like you. They want someone to tell them the answers, to tell them what to do. They don't, they don't want to um, engage with the gospels and with the scriptures themselves. They don't want to discern for themselves what God is calling them to do. No, they want somebody to just but that is not what Dr. Martin is about. That's not what the Reformation is about. That's not what we are about. We are here to help people discern and discover for themselves the grace of God. Write that down. Yes, we are here to help people discover the grace of God for themselves, to experience the grace of God for themselves. We are here to help you and you. Help you know that whatever the devil tempts you with or torments you with, in Jesus Christ, you have the strength and the power to withstand it and overcome it. Even me? I'm just a journalist. No, oh, especially you, Mr. Journalist. You need all the help you can get. <laughs> Papist? Or are you one of us? 